is the Mod Parts tutorial for Mod Studio. Uh, we're going to go over some of the basics of placing clothes and some of the various other parts that comprise a mod. So let's hit new. That'll take us to the blank, uh, the blank mods. From here you can shake it, that'll randomize. Or you can hit the randomize button. For now, I'm going to hit clear. I'm just going to work with a blank mod. So here we have different categories for parts on the mod. We're going to mainly focus on skins, head, clothes for this particular section. You'll notice that on the mod there's some uh, like pulsing ghost graphics on here. That just lets you know that you can need to touch the head to access those categories or you can touch the body to access the body categories. So let's start with the head. I'm going to go jump right into the eyes. There's this top category which has all the general eyes that you can use. But if you scroll down to the individual sections, you'll see there's a bunch of different expressions for each type of eye. After choosing my eye, I can hit the Modify tab. That'll give me the ability to start modifying the eyes with uh, gesture. So I'm gonna place them right there. And you can also do the scaling with the pinch and expand gesture. Um, I like to use my thumb as an anchor point and then move my finger out and that, that's, that has the same effect here. And you can also do it with rotating. So I can rotate his eyes slightly inwards, make him little, look a little angry. There we go. Uh, if you want to use different eyes, you can change the eye types by just hitting this button over here. And that'll keep the uh, edits that you've done so far, but swap the eyes out. Under here we have the different sliders available for modification, make them semi-transparent eyes. Or you can skew the eyes or stretch them, flip them. Inside of the color tab, there's three separate tabs. So this is the pre-selected kind of favorites colors. And then we have the color wheel, and we also have the effects tab, which is Again, you can access transparencies here, but you can also change the, the material types. Those are the eyes I want to use, so I'm going to go over into the, uh, the mouths category. If you want to modify the mouth, again, you hit the Modify tab. I want a big mouth. So let's start jumping around some categories here. I don't want them to have a nose, but you know, here's all the noses you can use. I can just hit the trash can icon, and that'll take the nose right off. Throw a goatee on them, color it up. Jump them back into the parts list, throw a helmet on them. And, uh, move the camera around with the right stick, get a good view of what you're working with. Okay, that'll do it for the head. And I'm just gonna jump into the clothes category, throw some pants on them. So the top layer is um, clothing that can go over the, his, like his shirt or pants. So if I pick you know, the overalls, it'd go over what I have existing. So you can layer your, the clothing on your mod, give them different looks. Biker gloves. Some boots. Throw a voice on them. Let's go with the superhero voice. So the, the last of the, the categories we're covering is going to be skins. And this year you can pick uh, diff different patterns. If you wanted to use patterns, and that'll you know affect the visible skin on the mod. He's a blank mod right now, but I can also change his skin color. And this is the easiest way. Uh, to have a fully uniform color on your whole mod. I'm going to make them a, a light blue. So using those very basics of the, the parts placement um, for the mod, I'm, I'm able to create you know, something I, I really like. Uh, took no more than a couple minutes. Create fun, new, interesting mods and share them with the community.